Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. With me today is Lauren Cole, Career Services, here to talk about a major exploration fair. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Sure. And we're talking about a major exploration fair. Now, most of the time when you're here, you're talking about a career fair. Right. So the opportunity to for students to find a job mm -hmm. after graduation, but in order to find the job and know what you're doing and get a degree, they got to know what right. they want to get the degree in, yes. right? So tell yes. us a little about the major exploration fair and, and what this all entails. Okay, so this is a fairly new event. We've done this for, I, think, I believe it's our third year. And it is every major and minor on campus is invited to set up a table. It's going to be in the TC ballrooms. And we, um, we pretty much got everybody signed up. So when a student walks in the door, they're going to see any major that they can pursue when they're at Troy. And then the careers associated with those majors. So faculty, we're asking them to speak to the students about what all jobs have you seen students graduate with, with these majors. And that's one of those elements I would think that for someone who's thinking about a major, is knowing about some of those Definitely. details that what jobs are out there, what are the graduation rates, right. what are the hiring rates, right. and that's some of the things that a student could be able to learn about once they come to this. Right? Sure, and they can always do that by going and visiting different departments mm -hmm. on campus, but this, this is the time they can walk in the door, they can see all of the programs there and somebody's ready to talk to them. And we really are inviting primarily freshmen and sophomores. Mm -hmm. Not that juniors and seniors can't come, but that might be the point they don't need to change their major. <laughs> but we also have the minors and different concentrations there as well. Mm -hmm. So if, if upperclassmen want to come and make sure they know their minor or talk careers, they're welcome to. Now, it's not unheard of for a junior or senior That's to change right. their major. It does you happen. Know, it's been a little time, but it is those freshmen and sophomores. And so, and you deal with, with undecideds over in the, the Student Success Center as well. Mm -hmm. uh, what, I guess, number are we looking at mm -hmm. of students that when they get here, haven't decided what they want to do? Sure, so there's somewhere between probably two and 300, a few, few more in the fall than in the spring that come in undeclared. And we've actually reformatted that program. We now call them Pathfinders. Yeah. Take away the stigma a little bit mm -hmm. with being undeclared because we want to build in some structure. Our Pathfinders are required to take Troy 1102, an in-depth career exploration class. So they are actually um, required to come to the major exploration fair. Mm -hmm. That's the way we can build in that major exploration. But yeah, so anywhere from two to 300 drops down in the spring and they will all be at this event. But really, there are a lot of freshmen out there that need this experience exposure to all these different majors and careers. So even if they're in a major, they mm -hmm. might still need to come. Well, and that, and that was the next thing I was going to mention there is that someone may have come to Troy and they knew I'm going to major in English. This is what right. I'm going to do. But then they get here and they think, well, maybe this isn't necessarily for me. Right. So even if someone has set their path and mm -hmm. they know it, this may not be a bad idea for them to just come by and check things out as well. Yeah, I totally agree. I think most of the time it's not bad to be undeclared in any way. But if you change your major, it's better to do it earlier. And this is a way, sometimes students don't know what all they don't know, right? They don't know what all majors we offer. They don't know what careers could be associated with those. So this is the perfect chance to do that exploration. And You've had this in the past, so mm -hmm. what about, have you felt walking away from this, the having this interaction between the faculty and the students, and even even from a from just a just a brief meeting standpoint, right. what's that that reaction and that between the two of them and having that interaction between each yeah, other? Yeah, good question. I think most of the time when the students leave, they're just kind of in awe that there's so much that we offer. But that interaction is key. It takes away the intimidation of a student having to go to the department themselves when they know this event is set up exactly for that. So it really just enhances the conversation that they can have there during the fair. And that, having that one-stop shop there, but right. not to mention, it could potentially open their eyes to some things they didn't know about. Right. There could be a major that's kind of tucked away in the back of a building somewhere and they don't have sure. a chance to, to come well, across it. Well, and some of our new programs like GIS and the EET program, the electronics engineering, yeah. um, those are new, so we want those on display. And it's really interesting to see a faculty member, they'll say, you know, this will be your major, but you have to have a minor. So go right over here and explore this minor or over here. And it just really kind of puts it all together for the lower classmen. And you mentioned the minor there before earlier in this uh, interview here, but minors, that's one of those things a lot of people may be a little bit farther along their education and they right. have not figured that out yet. Right. And some of them just don't realize that it's something they need to be thinking about 
once again, this is an opportunity to find out what miners are out there. Sure, right? yeah, and this is just kind of at first glance, mm -hmm. everything we offer, so it's a good way for them to get started. And then we do in-depth career counseling sessions in Eldridge mm -hmm. in 124 in the Career Center. So we'd love to see students, you know, to expand on that and have that conversation too. Well, good. Now, if anyone wants to take advantage of this, uh, when and where is it going to be? Yeah, so it's February 19th from 1 to 3 in the TC Ballrooms. Okay. Any students invited, especially lower classmen. And then we are over in Eldridge and 124 students can jump on handshake and make an appointment with us and see you anytime with that anytime so, all right well uh, thanks for joining us here today and a uh, good luck helping some students find some thank majors you. here at school thanks and thank you for joining us on today's edition of trojan talk